Hi, this is Alonzo with NetworkVoyage.com. Um, today I just want to do a quick refresher video on Spanning Tree Protocol 802.1D. It's a little, um, it's a little older, but uh, just wanted to really show you the effect of how long it takes to converge. And today's video is um, actually I'm filming from the outside here, so you might hear some wind, you might hear some chimes, uh, some cars going by, or some dogs barking. So that should make it pretty exciting. So let's go. Let's take from the top here. Let's take a look at switch number one and show spanning tree. Uh, we can see here that uh, the output here, again, these are all on VLAN 1, so um, we're just going to be looking at VLAN 1 information. He is the root bridge, and the bridge ID, if you recall from your studies, is made up of the priority plus the MAC address. So um, we have a system extension ID, um, VLAN 1 whatever VLAN number you have is going to be right here and it actually adds it to the default value which is out of the out of the box the priority is 32,768 you should already have that committed to memory but 32,768 plus 1 equals 32,769 so that's how we get the actual priority number here and then the bridge ID which is used by spanning tree and uh, the BPDU sent out every two seconds which is right here that's is, is what kind of tells all the switches who the root is that's how it decides who the root is now we're going to see this max age of 20 seconds and the forwarding delay of 15 seconds come into play um, when it transitions into its state from blocking to listening to learning to finally forwarding um, and how we're going to do that is we are going to set off an infinite ping here which I already have going cool this guy's IP address is uh, 1.40. I'm going to do an infinite ping to 1.50, which is the second host, and then we're going to go ahead and go to uh, go to switch switch three here. All right, and let's go ahead and shut down interface one two, and then we'll we'll see. Spanning tree go through. Look, fast Ethernet seven was is it was blocking, but now it's listening, and it's going to go through its listening states. And again, this is what I really wanted to show: the time it takes to converge. Because you know, when spanning tree was first invented, networks were real, you know, tolerant to downtime. Still learning here. Okay, now it's forwarding. As you can see on the map, it's gone green. And we have simulated the link failure here, and we're still missing pings here. Okay. Pings are going to come back. What I was saying before was um, today's networks are made up of, you know, mobile clients, voice over IP, and really sensitive applications that can't really afford this type of downtime right here. This, this is just no good in today's networks. So, um, that is kind of what I wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and take let's take notes here and see. Fast Ethernet 7 is a, currently the root port going towards the root bridge. It's in forwarding state. Let's go ahead and then, uh, let's turn gig 1-2 back on. Alright. Now, we see that Fast 07 is now designated as an alternate port and it's blocking. And gig 1-2 has now been designated as a root port going because he's closest to the root bridge because he's got a cost of 4, which means he's got a gigabit link. It's a faster link, which equates to a lower cost. And everything in Spanning Tree with lower costs, lower priority, that's the one that wins. Um, oh, look, there's a dog barking. Alright, so we get our pings back. And that's basically what I wanted to show you. That is the original spanning tree, 802.1D. Okay, it was good back in the days, and it, it still works fine for small networks. But today's switches, they have more advanced features. They have uh, m more intricate timers you can tweak um, for faster convergence. Um, again, I want to show you um, the blog here. Right now, I'm doing ICND2, as you know. Um, take a look at all these notes here that I've kind of been putting together here. Um, they're more snippets they're not really notes in depth so they just kind of help kind of guide you along as you study for your test and um, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i want to hear from you man or girl 
I want to hear from you uh, as far as uh, critiques on these videos, and um, let's collaborate and learn together here. All right, see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.